Go pull, pull. Don't stop pulling. Don't stop pulling. Pull, 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 pull. pull. Right left. so cool to get to fly like you know basically just a piece of history and you just feel like you know what flying a top performing jet from the late 1940s is like think about like chuck yeager breaking the sound barrier that sort of environment this is what people were flying back then and uh, i mean it's just so damn cool oh yeah okay to fly the bit I think the biggest thing standing in most people's way of, you know, achieving what they want is... It's like 6 a.m., 20 degrees outside. I'm gonna fly to New Mexico. Go fly an L-39, a MiG-15, some uh, 1940s and 60s era fighter jets. Alpine Air Park, automated weather observation, one, three, three, two, Zulu. Wind, calm, visibility, more than one, zero. Sky condition, clear, below one, two thousand. Temperature, minus five Celsius. Dew point, minus six Celsius. Altimeter, three, zero, two, two. Inches of mercury. One, six, five, Mike, Alpha, contact, Helix Center, one, two, four, point, three, five. 124.35165 Mike Alpha, good day. Okay, so we're cruising along here at flight level 210, doing about yeah, 196 indicated, 274 true, about 278 over the ground. Not much of a tailwind today, which we could use because we're running a little late on the way to Santa Fe. So we're uh, right over somewhere over Utah right now, about halfway. Uh, cruising along, just monitoring everything. Temps look good, props are pretty well synced. So yeah, we're uh, flying the Mitsubishi today. MU-2, pretty fun airplane, uh, nice high wing loading, a tiny wing, uh, so you get real smooth rides, and uh, we're cruising along here at, you know, 275 knots true on uh, about 80 gallons of, an hour. We're both going to spend uh, a couple hours flying an L-39 and a MiG and kind of see how we do, you know, we got to fly the L-39 basically to get to the MiG. A lot of interesting things going on with the MiG, uh, just aerodynamically. It's a very challenging airplane to fly. I mean, it's, it's really kind of this first generation of, of swept wing fighter jets. Um, you know, a lot of handling characteristics that would be designed out today, but, you know, this, this was designed uh, at the same time as the Bonanza was. Um, Chuck Yeager hadn't broken the sound barrier or anything like that. So we gotta go fly the L-39 first, and if that goes well, then we get to fly the MiG. If it goes really well, then we get to fly the MiG from the front seat. Santa Fe Tower, Mitsubishi number 165, Mike Alpha, it's 11000, descending on the visual for two. Mitsubishi 165, Mike Alpha, Santa Fe Tower, left traffic, runway two, clear to land, the wind 36012. Clear to land, runway two, five, Mike Alpha, thank you. Okay, flaps coming to 20. Okay, flaps 20, props are full forward, and we have three green, runway is clear, and we're clear to land. 125 for uh, speed now on final. Three green, drops full forward, flaps set to 20. Uh, where did we find Larry? Everybody in the Jet Warbird world knows Larry. Good on, guys. Hi. I'm Matt. This is Matt. Have a seat, guys. Just sort of the kind of guy that's been around forever just has a no-nonsense approach to everything. Everything's very straightforward. This is how you fly the airplane. This is how the systems work. These gauges are in potatoes. Just know the numbers. You, know, you get in the airplane, he shows you how to fly. He tells you how to fly it. And uh, he does everything. Larry's a CFI. He's a DPE. He's been flying these warbirds for forever. And uh, everybody goes to him from, uh, you know, astronauts to uh, rich guys to uh, Jared Isaacman. You know, it do doesn't really matter what the jet is. Uh, if it's a Jet Warbird, he's probably your guy. OK, 
Okay. There should be a checklist on the right side. Is it, uh... That's it. There we okay. go. All right. So we'll go through the checklist together. Throttles stop. It is stopped. Uh, parking brake is on. Battery radio and engine switch. So engine switch on. You bet. Turn it on. When you did that, the do not start light went out and the fuel gauge should go to full. Okay, press turbo start button. So, you have to pick up that guard, hold it for two seconds. Sure, so far. Okay. Let's Shut down stop. all the switches. Okay. And we'll try that one more time. So the L39 has an auxiliary power unit, an APU, that provides forced air to start the engine. So before we can start the engine, we have to start the APU so that we have air to start the engine. So we started the APU and then it shut itself off. So it has a self-test system that detects a few different types of errors, things like low oil quantity, low battery voltage, etc. And for some reason, it decided that something didn't pass the check and so it shut itself down. So we had to kind of double check everything give it a couple minutes uh, and then try again. Let's just give it one more try. Let's go back, what put is your it headsets done? on. What, is it, what, what kinds of things trigger it to shut itself off? It could be a battery supply voltage, but you've got 28 volts there, didn't you? 24? 20, go ahead and turn on the battery right yeah, it was, yeah, it was, it was Okay, let's go ahead again. Go ahead and hit the turbo starter. Okay. Go ahead. That sounds better. Yeah. Could be me. No, that definitely sounds better. There it goes. There go, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, engine start. Push the button down. Two seconds. Hold it. Hold it until the RPM moves. Release and crack the throttle. That's it. Okay. Everything should be automatic now. Let's see what happens. There you go. It should hit 450 degrees. Perfect. Okay? Now. Engine triple gauge, hydraulics, and what's this last one? Battery voltage. Triple gauge is normal. Yep. Now we voltage have 28 volts. is normal. Hydraulics. Both sides should be up now. So. Oh, yep, yep. Okay? Okay. Lock it up. Off flap set, flight control check. Or yours. Is it kind of a, is it a little hard to get sort of just across with a full deflection? Hold, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm not sure I know what you mean. Is so, there trouble in the control? Well, just, just right there. It just feels like there's like it's a little hit more. It's my leg. Oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha. Santa Fe ground, Albatross 24189 with India, the taxi going westbound. Albatross 24189 or Santa Fe ground, runway 33, taxi the Alpha Charlie, cross runway 28 on Charlie. Going to 33, cross the 28 on Charlie, 2489. Okay, if you will kindly release your parking brake now, you tell me when you've done that. The brake is off. Okay, I'm going to take us out of the parking spot, and then I'm going to give it to you, okay? Okay. We don't want to hit that Mitsubishi over there, right? Ah. So I'm going to bottom this left pedal. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and just give us a little bit of left brake here. We have good hydraulics, everything is good, engine's running good. All right, I'm off the brakes, you get off the brakes for a second, now gently pull the handle back and see how it works. Okay. There you go, okay. now you're going to go to the left here, gotcha. yeah. bottom so. the left one, there you go, and you're going to make that first right turn, whatever throttle you need, okay. just pull it gently, there you go, yeah. that's yeah. the way you do it. Yeah. And you are cleared to cross this runway, very good, clear left and right. Very good. Don't worry about tracking the center line exactly. Just keep it between the main wheels. You're sure. good. And whenever you're ready, flip that radio to 119.5 for me. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm Good. Take right 369 Very nice. Tower, citation 61 Charlie Sierra, visual 360. Citation 1 Charlie Sierra, Santa Fe Tower, runway 33, cleared to land, winds variable at 4. Little land 336 left, Charlie Sierra. And 
Tower 24189, hold short of 33, we'll be ready to go. Tower 24189, hold short, you're number two for the puncher. Okay, so all the gauges here look real good. We're going to get out on the runway, come to a stop, and do a check on the engine, okay? Okay. You can taxi us up a little bit to the hold line now. Okay. It's, it's very easy to stop this thing with the nose wheel pointing all the ways over, right? You don't want to do that, right? So just take your time, bring it to a stop, and that's it. Keep your feet dead center as you stop it. Seven miles an hour, six miles an hour, eight miles an hour works good. Three miles an hour, it's a pain. Try not to do that, right? So keep it moving a little bit, right? If you need to slow it down, put your feet in the middle and pull the brake. Pull the brake. And just hold on the brake and bring it to a stop, right? Traffic tower, good afternoon. Left traffic runway two. Left traffic stop. two, Peter 4270. Stop. stop, 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 brakes. Yep. Okay. I was just going to fix that nose. But no, you can't fix yeah. the nose. Nope. Not once you start doing that. Yeah. You are moving your feet. You got to just keep your feet dead center and bring it to a stop. Double traffic 189 or runway 33, clear to take off. On oh, you're west bound approved. 189. Okay, I've released the brakes. You've got the airplane. Take us straight on out. Okay. And just put us on a stop on the runway for just a minute. We'll do what you can to check. The power so you don't stop. There you go. There you go. That's perfect. Perfect. I think the biggest thing standing in most people's way of, you know, achieving what they want is doubt. Okay, that's good. Right. Center your feet. Yep. Stop the airplane. Look after nine, Brakes. a little whiskey with okay. you. Yep. Stick halfway forward. Okay. You know, you, you have to buy into it. You have to believe in yourself. Otherwise, you're not going to get anywhere. Full power. Just push it right to the stop. Hold the brakes. Push, push, push. But once you do that, I mean, you can do anything. And it's, you know, it just takes that perseverance, that determination. ETC uh, is normal. The, uh, Vibration gauge is power normal. Line. Power is good. Come on, one. Put your attention outside. Release the brakes. Halfway up. Okay. Like said, there you go. You've got rudders right now. Use the rudders. You know, you just have to believe in yourself and just, you know, not let those obstacles stand in your way. 100 knots and then you'll rotate to a 10-degree pitch. Okay. 3 ahead of you. Very nice. 10 degrees. Every time that, you know, something like this happens, that you get to fulfill some goal, that you, you know, that you reach some goal, it just gives you the confidence to take on the next thing and keep moving forward. And so, uh, you know, you just have to keep looking up. 130 knots, Thank flaps you. to zero. Okay, there's 130, flaps zero. Good, and just hold 10 degrees. Cool. All gauges are good. What is maneuvering speed in this airplane? There is no maneuvering speed. There is no maneuvering no. speed. Is there a maximum speed that you would give like a full uh, control deflection? Not that I can think of. Okay. It's a, supposed to be a fire, you know? Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, you can make a left turn now by the heading of uh, 240 or so. We're going to head over towards a lake. All right, you can make a right turn to 270, and we're heading into a private road set around 2196. Albuquerque Center, Jet Warbird 24189, Albatross Jet, heading into our practice area for the next 30 minutes. 24189, Roger. Hey, lower your nose a little bit there, right? There you go. You back down to 14.5? Yeah, it'll be fine. And now you can bring the throttle back to just 95%. Number one thing. Yep. Very good. All right, when you're ready, why don't you try to turn to the left here, see how it feels. Very good. We'll go ahead and do a stall now. Uh, okay, okay. Can I do one more? I just want to see. Oh, sure. You enjoy yourself. Yeah. Right? Whatever you like. 401, I'll you Good morning. So really, it's just morning. kind of very gentle. It's not like rolling like a decathlon or a bonanza into a turn and then maintaining altitude. Like you barely move the stick. That's right. You got to be thinking of pressures rather than movement. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay. You said you want to do a stall. Uh, let's go to heading to 270. Okay. We'll go ahead and do a stall. There's no stall warning, of course. It just sits there and she shakes, right? And you can 
you can recover any time you want. You can recover at the first indication. Some people like to do that. Some people like to take it into where the nose drops. Just remember this, that when your stalls and you've shoved the throttle forward, you don't have to go real low. Just bring it to the horizon, right? Okay. Right? Just bring it to the horizon. But as the power comes on, the nose wants to come up. Don't let it. Because you go right into a secondary. Not that that's anything bad, but it goes into a secondary. So just hold it wherever you put it. Keep it there, right? Don't let it, don't let it come back on you, right? And you can start reducing your power now to uh, 80%. Nose is dropping below yep. the horizon. Yeah, stay visual. Are you following? Uh, are you got your head in the cockpit? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Stay visual as much as you can. There you go. Right. Okay. There you go. And now, you know where your speed brake is? It's on the throttle. Yep. That silver button. Go ahead and open the speed brakes. Uh, like that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you want, that's you want right. me to go back up to fourteen five? Yeah, we just keep the nose up yeah. a little bit. We need to lose some speed anyway. So right. That's fine. And turn us to the right about heading a two eight zero now. There you go. All right. Now you can turn off your speed brakes. Good. Yeah, just hold that pitch. That's what you got there. When it starts to break, you can just lower your nose gently to the horizon and add full power. Full power. Full power. Push it, push it. There you go. Don't let the nose come up. There you go. Now we've recovered, but we still have a rate of descent, don't we? Right. Yeah. So just start pulling your nose up a little bit at a time. Center, good afternoon. American 1496, flight level 320. American 1496, Albuquerque East Center, Roger. There you go. Very nice. Good. And we'll do one little accelerated stall here, right? Okay. If you'll kindly put us in a left turn. There you go. And just pull back on the stick till you get a little buffet. Then release and add power. Pull back quickly. November 400, Echo Mike, contact Albuquerque Center for Albuquerque Approach, 1, 2, 3.9er, 23. Pretty docile, huh? Yeah. Turn right to a heading of 280. There you go. And we're going to go do some high speed stuff and some aerobatics, if you like, right? Perfect. Did you want to do a roll in the airplane? Yeah. Okay. What kind of roll are you going to do? Uh, can we do both? Yeah, why don't you start with an aileron roll? Sure. Okay. Yeah, you can see the aim at the smoke there. Yeah. Just slightly to the left is where the lake is. You can see the lake okay. off to the left. That's where we want to go. Okay, yeah. when you're ready, you know how to do a roll, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. What, do you, what do you like to do in this, uh, like, for in terms of pitch angle, or? Yeah, what you're going to do is just pull the nose up 15 degrees. Okay. Go ahead. Release your back pressure and give it left stick. What do you think? I like it. Good. Good. Um, do you, uh, like, just, yeah, in terms of parameters, what do you like for, like, a minimum speed in that or something, or? For an aileron roll? Yeah. 210. 210, Yeah, okay. 200, that's good. Okay. Now, I suggest you be a little bit more gentle with it on this one, okay? Pull okay. the nose up. Again, pull it up 15 degrees. Okay. And, uh, is that what you meant in terms of gentle? Yeah, that's nice. Very nice. That wasn't a... Good. That, okay. that wasn't a whole lot different. No, yeah. Good. Good. Can you show me what you, uh, how you would do a slow roll in this Flight level 310, American 6870. Uh, you know, I haven't done one in a long time, but basically, you know, okay. I've got the airplane. Okay, your airplane. Alright, here we go. Not too fast as you roll it, right? You want to be able to go through all the four points, okay? Yeah, and, and I guess I mean my, my, my thought on that would be you know you'd want to maintain you want to roll you know maintain the same pitch attitude bubble. heading throughout the whole thing. Right. So if you start you know at, at 10 degrees pitch up, you know you'd end up on that same kind of yes, you would. Path. That's but, exactly yeah, what you so want to do. Take a little more uh, forward pressure there. Uh, let's yeah. two American folks away. Good. Did you want to try a loop? Yeah, let's do a loop. Okay. We want to start our loops at 11,000, and we want to hold at three and a half to four Gs so that we don't go through. And we want to keep them flat on the top. You don't want to float this thing across the top and be at 21,000 and me filling out NASA forms, right? Let's not do that. Let's stay below 18. So to keep it flat, you're going to hold a little G at the top, right? So that that nose doesn't go, woo, right? But keeps on coming down, right? 
So hold the little G at the top, right? It won't be exactly a perfect loop, but. Climb us up to 14.5. Give yourself full power. 32, 32, so the 14, 25, so. Okay. And then let's go to level flight for just a minute. Sure. Now, when you do this, I want you to tighten your leg and stomach muscles before yeah. we pull. So what I w and don't be and real rambunctious with three, pulling the G's, right. you wind up hitting seven. Yeah. So I mean, we're going to do it step by step. Put your nose down now okay, and pick up 340 knots. Okay. Nose down. And do you want this all at full power? Yes. Or, uh, okay. All at full power. Nose down. Nose down 15 degrees. Pick up 340 knots. Keep the nose down. There you go. I'm checking for traffic. Okay. I don't see I any don't, traffic. I don't see anybody. Okay. Why don't you level us off at 11,000 feet? Okay. Uh, do you want three? Do you want to level off sooner if we have 340 before yeah, that? Yeah, that's fine. You've set yourself, tight your leg and stomach muscles, okay? Yep. And a nice gentle pull for three and a half feet. Pull, 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 a little more than that. There you go, pull. There you go, pull. Don't stop pulling. Don't stop pulling, pull. Pull, 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 look left, pull. There you go, good. Very nice, coming around the top. 16,000 feet, keep pulling, don't stop. All right, back to level flight. Very nice. So you never stop pulling on the way up or the way down, right? Gotcha. Right? Because either one is a bad thing for, the, for what you're doing, right? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Let's make a right turn, go back the opposite direction. Able go ahead and climb us up to 15.5 or so, we'll, or 16.5, we'll accelerate the airplane a little bit, okay? Okay. Can I try a slow roll in the climb, just to see if I can maintain this pitch attitude? Get something close to it? Or, yeah. Well, we're bleeding off airspeed pretty good. Sure, go ahead. I mean, I'll do that there. That's not a slow roll. It was a little closer than the last one, I think. We were about the same pitch attitude. <laughs> okay. All right, you did fine. Okay. okay, let's climb it back up here to 16.5. 16.5? Yep. Okay. All right, level us off up here for just a moment. Okay, you can put the nose down now and accelerate us up to 350 or 370 knots, whatever you get. And then put us in level flight. There you go. Taco 76, contact Denver Center, 118.57. You said 350 or what? Yeah, 350, 360, you're good. Level us off in 11.5. United Soul 30, turn the call. And trim it. And you can see we're doing about 0.7 miles now, right? United Soul 30, turn About yeah. 420 knots true. Okay. Go ahead and start a left turn. Alaska 228, contact Denver Center, 132.65. 3265, 1628, get in. Is it just because it's a little bit bumpy out here today that it's kind of rough, or does it always uh, shake a little bit when you get this fast? Oh, it's always got some yeah, so ground waves coming out. Like not right. too it's due to the ground. Yeah, that's right. Turn us back to a heading of east. We're going to make our way back into the traffic pattern. Yeah, that's about east right there. You can see the lake out there, right? Right. Okay. Now, the difference between this and a piston airplane or a prop airplane, I'm going to pull the throttle back, and you're going to pull the nose up 10 degrees. Go ahead. We're at 11.5. You want me to hold 10 degrees? Yeah, just hold 10. Okay, 1496. We're simulating an engine out. Okay. There, yeah, you can start the descent now. Position direct NABOB. At 140 Alpha, knots. Bravo, Oscar, Bravo. Direct Parker, rest route unchanged. What do you think? We gained about 3,000 feet on that pole, right? Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't come down very quick, does it? No, it doesn't. And the airport's up ahead. Sky was 3133. I don't want to do one more. Just hold the flight. Juliet. That's just fine. Oh, we're having a little trouble picking What's up. What's that? I just want to do one more. Okay. Yeah, we're at 3133, you're okay. on to your... Okay, no, uh, I'm good, we can head back. At Albuquerque Center, Albuquerque, 2498, returning to Santa Fe. You're on 132.8? Yep. Oh, he don't answer me. And Albuquerque, 2498, returning to Santa Fe, thank you. I'm sorry, who said they're returning to Santa Fe? Uh, Albuquerque, 24189, Jet Warburg. Our 24189 Rogers, Supervisors, a CRJ, 
That's uh, one zero miles east of the field, descending in. They should be on the visitor approach runway two zero. You guys will both be talking to the tower here in just a minute. Thank you. We're going to call the tower. I appreciate it. Dallas thirty one thirty three, Santa Fe twelve o'clock. Yeah, one nineteen point five would be fine. Okay, you don't want twenty eight fifty five. Yeah. Okay. Nineteen five zero. Okay. Nine thousand five hundred requested for touch and go. And Santa Fe tower, which is two four one. Coach delay inbound from patterns, please. We have the info. 189 has information, Juliet. We're at Coach delay. I'll make right traffic for downwind. 189 will make right traffic for downwind 20. And now you'll bring the stick, let it come down, and push the stick slightly forward. Right? There's a weight on wheel switch. And if in this airplane, if you don't have weight on the wheel on the nose wheel, you got no brakes. Mm, that's good. What you don't want to do is this, okay? With the brakes or without with the brakes? With the pedals. While you got the brakes on, well, right? yeah, the you don't want to go like this, right? You and I are landing the airplane, and we put our feet on the pedal, and, the air, and it looks like she's starting to go to the left a little bit, right? Going to the left a little bit. I'll just give it 70. I'll put a little bit more on the right one, and it comes back, and everything is fine. Now you've got 50 potatoes and 70 potatoes, right? Russian airplane. Same thing happens. You say, oh, I'm just a little bit to the left. I'm going to push my foot up. Now you have 70 potatoes on this one, but only 30 on this one. Mm. Or 80 and 20. <coughs> All the friction is on one tire. You're going to blow the tire. Because the tire will not tolerate that kind of friction. Have you had any tire? Oh, sh been doing this for years. Have people ever blown a tire? You bet. And sometimes you, never, you don't even see it coming. All our cages are good. That's good, yeah, put us on that right downwind. You can open your speed breaker a little bit now and get our airspeed down a little bit for 180. 189 is right now. Trust 189, they extend your downwind, you'll be number two following the RJ7 turn six mile final. 189. Okay, you're looking for the RJ. Yeah. Uh, don't have him yet. Uh, oh, I got him. Good. 189, number two, runway two, very clear for the option wind call. 189. That'll be uh, right traffic. Right traffic. Uh, you're down here, or you want to follow him first? It doesn't matter, whatever's good for you. Okay. Go ahead, you're down here. Good. You're just coming down, pitch for 140, and we'll start bringing it around. We're going to power back this time. All right. So suggest you go full flaps and slow us to 120. Give him okay. some room to clear the runway. And are we good with full flaps right here? Yeah, I guess sure. Because we're about 140. There you go. What is the max speed for full flaps? 165, 163, something like that. Okay. It won't give it to you if you're going too fast. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. There's 120. It gives him a little time to clear. So 31, 33 can roll There's to the end. Contact ground fast. point seven clear. Go to the in-ground point, Kevin, go to the one three. Yeah, now you're going to add 90, if you're below glide path, 93, 94 percent, whatever you need. There you go. Is he clear of the runway? I think he's just clearing at the end. I can't quite see him, though. Okay. I, think, I think that's him. Yeah. Good. Just a second here, basically power to idle. Right here. Santa Fe Tower, Skyhawk 350, four Papa turning downwind for runway Yeah, now you roll. Go ahead. Skyhawk 4 Papa, runway 20, clear the option, then make left traffic, the wind is calm, altimeter 3016. Clear for the odd turn, runway 20350, four Papa. Power up. Power up. And middle flat button. Uh, Santa Fe Tower and uh, Skyhawk 350, four Papa, clear for close traffic. Oh, yes, sir. Hey, clear for the option, make left traffic. Very left nice. traffic, keep up beautiful pump What is that vibration? It's your nose wheel. Okay. Yep. Gear up. Yeah, Wraps up. We'll go out here to 7,000 feet, then we'll start off turn on to the downwind leg, okay? Okay. And you said right traffic again? Yes. Very good. Nice turn. And throttle right back to 85 to get us below gear speed. And traffic tower. 
Albatross 189, runway 20, 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 runway and now you're going to let her slow to 140. Yep. Pretty day now, huh? Hey, I'm trying to play your base here. Disclosure, Skyhawk, short file. 189. I'm trying to play 29, runway 20, clear to land, the wind variable at 8. So this will be the full stop. We'll touch down, we'll let it decelerate, pull the nose on up a little bit, right? Sure. And then very gently come on the brake, going to yeah, let off. Yeah, exactly speed. right. It's just a little surreal, like it almost, I don't, I don't even know what to think. I mean, it's, I feel like it hasn't fully sunk in yet. I've got a Bonanza, fly that a lot, fly his MU2, his Husky, flown, uh, uh, the, the, well, the 39 will be my 39th aircraft I've flown, 39th type. Um, wow. You know, this has been something that's just, you know, a, a really long time in the making. The first time I saw an L-39, I was like seven years old at the uh, Miramar Air Show in San Diego, and uh, I thought it was pretty cool because it was like the fighter jet that James Bond stole at the beginning of Tomorrow Never Dies. Growing up, I always wanted to fly, and for a long time, that just felt like that was something that was out of reach or really far away, and you know, it just feels like stuff like this has just kind of come full circle. And I just feel really lucky to, to get to do that and kind of live out, you know, those childhood dreams in a way. <laughs> 